So we are officially living in the Fallout universe. That's not even a joke. We got mutant dogs. No, I'm not even joking. We're now living in a universe where we have radiation resistant dogs. Let's get a round of applause for humanity's atrocities. If you're not aware, in 1986, the Chernobyl nuclear disaster released massive amounts of radiation into the environment, leading to a complete evacuation of the surrounding areas. But what happened to the animals left behind? Well, shockingly, we now know, specifically for dogs, what has been going on. Researchers have estimated that there are around 300 dogs living in the exclusion zone. These dogs have formed their own communities and have adapted to the harsh environments filled with radiation and pollution. A recent study led by scientists from Columbia University have revealed some astonishing findings about these dogs. They analyzed blood samples from over 400 stray dogs and discovered nearly 400 genetic mutations. Mutations that appear to have helped them cope with their near-toxic surroundings. These mutations suggest that these dogs have developed a level of immunity to radiation and heavy metals. And it's not just dogs. Other wildlife in the area like wolves and even frogs are showing similar adaptions. Also, I don't know what's wrong with me because I, I see these dogs Dogs and I'm like, I want to adopt these mutant dogs. Like, I don't care. Maybe it'll bite me and I get some superpowers. It just, it doesn't need to be living there anymore. Like it's leveled up, right? You could stop with the RPG level grinding, man. You're already max level. God, the power scaling on dogs these days is just getting ridiculous. I'll also have the study link down below for you little dorks if you want to read all the little details like I did. <laughs> um, but yeah, I just wanted to talk about this in a broad sense because it is very... <laughs> It's very Fallout-like, like I said, um, but at the same time, it's like, yeah, nature is way stronger than our, our biggest faults. Uh, it doesn't mean we should punish nature even further. My god, no, it means the complete opposite. We should let it thrive with us. Like, imagine how far we can make it go if we actually try to treat it like the Garden of Eden. And I'm not even talking about in a religious way, I'm just talking about that story specifically. Imagine if we worked every single day with nature, with the technology that we have today. We would be living in a completely different world. And with that, goodbye. If you found this video intriguing, uh, let me know in the comment section down below. And I'd appreciate it if you did the whole like and subscribe button. I have to tell you that or YouTube will come for me. Uh, it's, it's true. They will hunt me down and kill me. Uh... <laughs>